Here is how you add a customized verb, an action word, in WordPower in chat. First, you can use WordFinder to check if the word already exists in the vocabulary. In this case, I want to add the word cuddle. So I'm going to go into WordFinder and search for the word cuddle. And I can see that no options show up. So that means that the word cuddle doesn't exist in this vocabulary and I need to add it in. So I'm going to go back. So first we need to open the menu. You can do this by swiping right from the left of the screen, uh, by pressing and holding the back button or by pressing and hold, by pressing the three dots in the speech display bar or the menu bar on the top of the screen. If you have enabled these as options. Press edit mode. Red font will appear on the bottom of the page when you are in edit mode to tell you the name of the vocabulary and the page that you're on. Open the actions page and find a blank cell to add your new word. In this case, I need to go to the next page. Press and hold the cell you want to edit. and press edit button. Each button has four things. A label, what's written on the button. The message is what it says. You can edit the pronunciation here if required. And then uh, looking for an image or picture for that button. So I'm gonna type in cuddle in the button label. And you can see that it's automatically populated the message to speak cuddle. From here, I can scroll down and click on camera if I wanted to take a photo. In this case, I'm going to click on find to search for a symbol. It will automatically put the button label into the search bar. You can change this to type for a specific symbol if you want. I'm going to press search. And there we go. I have some options for cuddle, so I'm going to choose this symbol. You can see a preview of your button here. When you're happy with that button, you can press save. Now, if you want that button to be searchable in the actions A to Z page in WordPower, so down here, then you can copy and paste it there. So you can copy it by pressing and holding, pressing copy, copy button. Then go to the page where you want to paste it. So A to Z, C, and then press and hold, paste button. To finish editing, open your menu, press edit mode. You'll see that the red font disappears from the bottom of the page.